hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today in this tutorial you will be introduced to functions both user-defined and standard library functions used in Arduino programming well functions are not only used in Arduino programming these are also used in other programming languages like VB.net, Visual Basic 6 or uh, uh, MATLAB and etc etc so so you will learn why functions are used in programming a function is a block of code that performs a specific task suppose you are working on a project and you need to perform a same task more than once in such case you have two options first one is use the same set of instructions or statements every time you want to perform that task so I will show you this uh, once we start the programming it will be a practical example so no worries and second create a function to perform that task and just call it every time you need to perform that task just as an example if you look at the pin mode functions digital write analog read PWM functions so the these are the functions that we keep on calling when we need them using function B is good practice and a good programmer always uses functions while writing codes in C visual basic MATLAB etc so now what's the difference between the two functions the predefined library functions and the user defined functions predefined functions standard library functions are such as wide setup wide loop pin mode as you know that each and every Arduino program has at least two functions wide setup and wide a loop uh, we will discuss this in detail once we start the programming pin more digital write and digital read functions are also very frequently used uh, in Arduino programming these are the functions which already have a definition and header files dot h file it will if you watch my previous tutorial which was on the uh on the lcd uh, liquid crystal display and i was you in, in that tutorial i was using a uh, a timed control machine so in that project I use the header file so that we just call them whenever there is a need to use them number two user defined functions the functions that we create in a program are known as user defined functions now what is the syntax of a function return type whether the function is returning any value or not and then the function name which can be any name and then the argument list and then of course set of statements okay so now return type return type can be of any data type such as it can be a character it can be double integer wide short etc so don't worry you will understand these terms once we start the programming then function name it can be anything however it is advised to have a meaningful name for the functions so that it would be easy to understand the purpose of function just by seeing its name and the uh, argument list well the function name can be like XYZ ABC or it can be any name but always use uh, a function uh, which has a meaningful name and the argument list again these are like inputs to a function so uh, argument list contains variable names along with their data types these arguments are kind of inputs for the function for example a function which is used to add two integer variables will have two integer arguments we will we will solve this uh, we will do this practically in programming once we start the programming and block of code what is block of code set of uh, uh, statements uh, which will be executed whenever a call will be made to the function so that's a little theory about the functions and now let's start the programming now let's open the Arduino IDE. We'll need uh, some variables. So, integer number one equal to zero. Integer number two and integer result is equal to zero. Wide setup and wide now the parentheses shows that this is a function as previously I told you that 
every Arduino program has at least two functions one is the white setup and the white loop if we look at the Scientix in the Scientix we know that uh, every function has a return type a function name and the argument list so if you look at this this is the the return type and this is the function name and the argument so this is a function uh, which has no return value it's not returning any value its name is setup and it has no arguments uh, similarly this one now let's activate the serial communication serial dot begin 9600 now this is also a standard library function so this function is not returning any value and it has one argument that is the portrait or what if we don't use uh, the uh, user defined function so let's first make a program and uh, let's see let's for example number one is equal to two and number two is equal to five result is equal to number one plus number two serial dot print result serial dot print line ln is for the new line and shows the result delay well I personally don't like using delays but uh, for this tutorial I'm gonna use it let's for example again I need to uh, perform the addition so again I will use all these instructions copy paste this time I want to add 10 and 20 copy paste and this time I want to add 60 and 10 and at the end one delay 1000 so 1000 equal to one second bytes in <coughs> milliseconds let's con connect the Arduino you know let's check whether it's connected or not yes it's connected on port com 12 uh, let's upload the program actually no spaces are allowed in the variable name open the serial monitor now you can see that is 7 30 and 70 but you can see that I have repeated all these instructions again and again I'm repeating these instructions you can see and what if we use a function then what will happen now let's delete all these instructions and let's make a function wide addition integer a and integer b now <coughs> the function this function has no return it's, it's, it's not returning any value and it has two arguments a and b so result equal to a plus b serial dot print result serial dot print line result and that's it now we'll simply call this function addition and for I, I want to add 3 and 4 delay 1000 addition 
4 and 10 delay 1000 so see how easy it is so let's upload this open the serial monitor 7 and 14 so how easy it is there is no repetition of code like you can see again addition 100 and 200 delay 1000 upload so that's it if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and thanks for watching